First of all, this was a class that I was going to teach every quarter uh, for a couple of years, and so it seemed worth it to spend the time to do this. And and it's good that I taught it every quarter because uh, the upfront time was significant. You know, there were a lot of hurdles to overcome. You know, so figuring out how to do the video recording and uh, the technical hurdles associated with that. When you're recording video, it's easy to spend a lot of time doing it. You know, you have this ability to do it over and over and over again until it's, until it's perfect, right? That you don't have in a live lecture. And also, you are constantly hearing what you sound like. <laughs> so it's a, kind of like a constant performance evaluation when you're recording these videos. Getting all this stuff, all the lectures in a video format and getting that online, that took a huge amount of time. So I have this class and, you know, I probably spent 30 hours a week for the first quarter just doing that. But the real surprise was in later quarters, once I'd done that, um, there was kind of a, just this surplus of free time that was a little, uh, <laughs> I didn't really know what to do with it, you know. So there's actually six hours of lecture and lab time that I'm in the classroom with the students. And so my time commitment to actually, you know, to run this class, you know, went from that 30 hours down to like probably six to eight hours a week. Like that was the minimum amount of time that it took to run the class because it was smooth enough that I, you know, just showed up to class. What I ended up doing was focusing on making the curriculum better, doing second version of those lectures, making our projects a little smoother you know, working on the ability to search all the videos and access all the moments in the class. So having having those previous recorded lectures made it a lot easier to focus on all the rough edges of the class and polish them over. The second quarter, questions went way down from the students. You know, so the TAs are like, the, the students aren't asking as many questions as they did before. And I was like, yeah, things are just a little too calm, they're a little too quiet. So I went around and just met my students, you know. So again, with the, the large number of students, that can be tough. But I was able to go and just check in with every student in my class. And when I did that, I, you know, I created that relationship uh, with the students. And then they felt a lot more comfortable approaching me. And, you know, the demands for the time uh, went right back up, you know. Again, especially with the students who were trying to catch up and the students who were really stoked about building things. Yeah, one thing that was kind of a surprise in the course was the use of peer review. The final assignment that these students make, uh, we try and do these real world projects and their final assignment is to make a crankcase assembly from a bicycle. And they make the, the models and tie them all together in assembly, and then they make these production drawings that you could send off to vendors to have bicycle parts made. And initially, I you know spent a lot of time reviewing those drawings one on one, and I came to realize a big part of drafting is the ability to look at a set of drawings and realize what's missing. And so peer reviewing that final assignment. Uh, seemed like a really a good fit. We worked out the mechanics of how to do that. And the students each reviewed two of their peers' drawings. And I was surprised at how, uh, you know, how thorough a lot of my students were at grading their peers. And I think it was a good opportunity for them to practice evaluating a drawing, seeing what's missing. And it also had that time effect where it created more time for me to focus on other things. You know, I reviewed all of their projects after that, but with such a head start, it was pretty, it was a lot easier to be able to give accurate feedback. You know, and they all got it a lot quicker, too. You know, the students knew how they did within 45 minutes instead of uh, four to five days.